samples. If you do so, then within a week, silk test will be uh, very handy for you. Now, the next concept that I'm going to show is uh, what is the current date, okay? I want to get the current date, there is something called date str, okay? There's a command called date str. If you want to get the current date, you can use that. Again, you can do either way. Uh, I'm saying this string s equal to date string print s, right? You can assign to a variable or directly print, either way it is fine. Now I'm saying time str, okay? There is something called a time string, okay? X. Getting the date and the time, if you want to do that, use date str and time str. Now if I run this, okay? Look here, it is returning the date mmddyy format. It is returning the time in 24 hours format. These two are very important functions when you are dealing with uh, date calculation, time calculations and other stuff. This will be very handy. Very simple commands, but definitely it is very, very helpful in terms of your programming aspects. Now, one other area that we would like to show today before we end this webinar today is that uh, someone is asking is the help for such function available in silk test if you go to help and then say help topics okay if you go to this help topics it opens up help file you get complete reference of the silk test functions, four test functions, how to use, how not to use, everything, right? And again, I'm just going over here, functions, okay? I just go to this function. There is something called a date and time manipulation. If I expand that, adding a date, right? Formatting the date in whatever format you want, right? Uh, then, uh, Yesterday we have seen the sleep, applying Y2K rules, difference between two dates, different between two hours. There are a lot of functions. So if you want to do formatting of dates and then uh, calculating the difference between dates, right? Then uh, whether the date is before year 2000 or after 2000, lot of functions are available, right? For example, I go to array manipulation, right? I showed you array find and array size. There are other two functions, array resize and array sort, right? Same way yesterday I showed you list functions. I talked about list up and list count, right? List sort. There are so many other list commands existing in the help file. So you may have to probably read this help file. This is huge. Uh, in fact, uh, to be uh, very... Uh, specific about silk test this tool has been in the market for the last uh, at least 15 years in fact i the earlier version of silk test was called qa partner right in fact i had worked in qa partner way back in 1994 i started my career in 1992 i have worked in qa partner which is the ancestor of silk test way back in 1994 so this is a very very robust and a stable tool so you, it's a, the help file is huge. You may have to read and practice. Before we conclude today, you can execute OS commands from Silk. How do we do that? There is something called sys underscore execute. There are a lot of commands that are saying uh, sys underscore sys underscore will do anything with respect to operating system for example I say dir star dot star okay I'm just passing this command okay I'm trying to execute this sys execute dir star dot star 
let us try to execute what happens okay just watch i am opening the result file look at this the directory in which silk test is executing is sql and program file c silk test so current directory listing from where silk test is executing it has taken it up so if you want to rename a file delete a file right anything can be done sys underscore execute right if i put del star dot star we are in, in a mess right you can create a folder rename open file delete file type the file sys underscore execute will execute any dos prompt whatever you can do from the command prompt right cmd right from the command prompt whatever you can do sys execute command can do this is one thing there is one more thing for example uh, this is a notepad window right this notepad now exists now let me just uh, try to do this task manager this notepad process exists i am opening windows task manager it was process uh, we can look at the process ids okay let me just uh, process id okay again i'm not sure whether it lets you work or not the notepad has the process id called 5868 if i want to kill something okay if i want to kill some process okay i know the process id 5868 if i want to kill that process you can use sys underscore kill what is that id uh, 5868 or 5818 Five eight six eight. Okay. Right now the Notepad does exist. Okay. The Notepad is running under the process ID five eight six eight. Now I'm saying syskill five eight six eight. Let us try whether uh, it used to work in Unix very well. Let me see whether it works in Windows also. I am trying to kill this process. Yeah. And uh, it is giving an error saying that uh, syskill is not supported in Microsoft Windows XP. Yeah. This is usually this is used in, in Unix command to kill from the prompt we can do a killing the process okay so you can start a process you can kill a process right under sys execute if you give uh, notepad.exe right it can still run so the sys execute can do anything that you want to do from uh, task prompt is this clear to you all? so far in self test good any questions in uh, today's uh, sessions okay tomorrow we are going to see there are certain things called get set and verify commands so we'll be using that and data driven test day after tomorrow we'll be seeing checkpoints or verification Any questions for the day today? Okay. Uh, one person has asked, what is the cost of silk test again? Uh, that's a question to Borland. Probably have to ask Borland to give a quote. Another question came as, uh, do we have uh, Eclipse kind of editor? No. To edit note uh, for test, you have to use only this kind of uh, an editor. Since it is using formatting like indenting other stuff, you cannot use Eclipse or dot .net editors. You have to use only silk test editor. Okay, one other person has asked, do we include frameworks and other stuff in this webinar? No. This webinar is to talk only about the silk test features. How to use the framework and other stuff uh, is uh, not in this webinar. Probably you may have another thing. Okay. Again, Silk is a common name, right? 
silk test is something silk performer is something different so you have to use silk test right you have to use regression testing right you cannot use load testing okay? you have to use regression testing because this is a regression testing tool functionality regression testing tool so any other questions for the day okay thanks a lot we will meet tomorrow uh, we will continue with data driven test and verification points which are core features of actual testing and browser based recording replay also thanks a lot